Hello, Pelocity Posse, and welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke right here on Pelocity. In the last episode we got here, we found out who our starter options are. Laron, the Rock Steel type. Uh, we also have Jigglypuff, the normal type, or Swinub, the Ice Ground type. And in the comments section, you spoke, and uh, the verdict is everybody wants me to go with Laron. Now, before I pick Laron, I do want to say there is a cry going on in the background, and I, I can't discern what, you, what it is, but whatever that Zigzagoon is, is the cry is actually being played over the over the music. You can hear it kind of as the Zigzagoon normally cries, so let's see what this wild Pokemon is. I've heard it before. I should know what the cry is, but I cannot discern it. Uh, it's not coming to me right away, so let's grab Laron. Enter the battle and see what this wild Zigzagoon is. It's still a Zigzagoon. Okay. Alright. So the Zigzagoon must not be the actual randomized Pokemon. What I was hearing must be cries in the grass around us. This Zigzagoon must be a Zigzagoon no matter what, I am assuming. It is a female Laron. Okay, but yeah, I'm assuming... I'm just assuming whatever cry I was hearing was actually in the grass. So we will take this Zigzagoon out. Oh, do I have... What? Do I set sun or is it setting sun? I have drought. My Laron has drought. Wow. And a bold nature. That physical defense is going to be off the, off the chain. Unbelievable. Un... Believable. Wow. This is exciting. You guys, this is exciting. The fact that we're going to have randomized natures this time around, it's going to make this game so much more difficult, but also so much more enjoyable, I think. It's going to be great. Well, I was in the tall grass. Tell you why Pokemon has jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh. Hi, you're Paul. That's not the place to chat, so come back to my lab, okay? So, Paul, I heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off at a plum. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh, yes. Ah, thanks for rescuing me. I'd like to give you the Pokemon you used earlier, and we will receive the Laron. While you're at it, why don't you give a nickname to that Laron? Yes, we will. We will give a nickname to this female Laron. All right, we're going to name it Metallica. I, uh... Asked my wife what she wanted to name it, and I gave her a couple options, and she chose Metallica, so we were gonna go with Metallica for the later on. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll be make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying how Pokemon while helping me out. Paul, don't you think it might be a good idea to see May? Sure. Great. May should be happy too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Alright, Birch. Let's go, uh now we have not gotten Pokeballs yet. So the Nuzlocke has not started. So we are in the um, same instance we kind of were in in Platinum. We are we are headed to go see, uh, you know, go somewhere else. And there's a Scyther in the grass. Um, so we are going to a new encounter. We are going to another area, but we don't have Pokeballs yet, so we cannot catch any of these Pokemon currently. But Shadow Tag. All right. Scyther is going to be shadow tagging us in these games. Not like I can't take it out or anything. But, um, yeah, so we're definitely going to have to, uh, be a little bit more weary of what Pokemon abilities are as we go through this game, for sure. Um, so let's, we're in the same, like I was saying, we're in the same instance before where we don't have Pokeballs. So we will actually get to see some of the Pokemon that are available in, this, in these grass grassy areas in these routes on the way let's go heal up and uh let's we're gonna be taking on may and i think she's gonna have if we chose the torchic spot she's gonna have the mudkip spot which is swine up so it shouldn't be that bad uh she will also carry her starter through the game is how i have it set up also like platinum so she will have a, a pile of swine near the, you know, at the end of the game. She will have this swine up the entire time. So let's go talk to May. Let's see. The Pokemon found out on Route 103 include... Uh, oh, hi, Paul. I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, 
Let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer's like. All right, May. Let's go. She's gonna have that swine up. Female swine up. I meant the female layer on female layer on Metallica. Come on, Metallica. You got that sun's rays. Um, really anything and everything should do enough. This thing is gonna do nothing to me. This swine up is going to hit me for one damage. I almost one shot it. I almost one shot it with a crit. One shot it with a crit almost. We're gonna tackle it just just to be a little bit more fair. We're gonna tackle it because I think we need it. We need to treat these, this thing with a little bit of respect and not hit it too hard, right? Okay. Just wanna make sure my overhead light was uh, off. Metallica grew to level six. And Pokemon Trainer Maze down. Wow, that's great. Paul, you're pretty good. I know I'm good. I'm I'm I'm, I'm Paul. I'm, I'm the Pokemon master of Pokemon Emerald, you know? I just, I've played this game so many times, you have no idea. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time, time to head back to the lab. All right, well, let's head on back to the lab. Let's get you on up back to the lab. A little bit of lag going on, I, I, I've noticed, I think, but. Paul, over here, let's hurry home. I don't know why they had to put that there. This is only an emerald where she stands there to tell you let's hurry home. I don't know why. And they had to put her there. Um, because Ruby and Sapphire, she just ends up back in the lab and you just you just walk all the way back. That was an un completely unnecessary added text that they added to this game. I'm not, I can't I can't give an answer. Not sure how anybody could possibly get lost, but Oh hi Paul! I heard you beat May on your first try. That hey, that's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. May's an, May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Paul, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Okay. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon, it records it into this data in the Pokedex. Why, Mel May looks for me oh, looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh, well, wow, Paul, you got a Pokedex too. That's that's great, just like me, huh? I, I've got something for you too. And now the Nuzlocke has started. It's fun if you get a lot of Pokemon. I'm gonna look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Okay. Well, it's now time to move into the actual Nuzlocke. Wait, Paul. My mom is talking to me. Paul, Paul, did you get yourself introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch. How nice. You are your, your, you're your father's child, all right. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you are going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. We will switch our shoes, and we will get the running shoes now, and we can now run indoors, outdoors, and everywhere. Paul, those shoes came with instructions. Press the B button while wearing those running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race to the great outdoors. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now, your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful, and if anything happens, you can come home. Okay, go on and get them, honey. Alright, well... I said we can actually run inside. In, in the normal games, you can't run inside. But I, I made it in this randomizer. I used one of the extra rules. We can now run inside buildings. So, um... We will be able to run anywhere we want to go now, and we actually run pretty fast. So, let's head into the grass. Our Route 2 encounter, or Route... What, what, what is... What, so, what route is this? Route 101. I keep saying Route 2, but Route 101. Our Route 101 encounter is going to be an Onyx. Another rock type. And that's the cry that I heard in the background was an onyx okay so i don't know if i'm gonna add onyx to the team right now to be honest with you i will catch it but i don't know if i'm gonna add it to the team right away uh if i mud slap it i might kill it because in this game mud slap's a physical attack actually i might not take that back okay we are all good we are totally fine there's no I mean, unless I crit it, which, I mean, I guess I'll just hit it one more time and hope that that's enough and hope that that, that gets us to a spot where I can actually go through it and, and catch it, but... So let's mud slap it again. 
Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Then I'm gonna come out with a ball, and uh, we're gonna get this Onyx. Um, probably gonna just have to name her Titanium, even though Titanium was a guy in, in Platinum. Uh, we're just gonna probably reuse the nicknames. Not the potion. Pokeball. Probably just gonna reuse the same nickname. And we will have Titanium on the team again, rejoining us once more. Come on, Titanium, get in these balls. I got four left. I want you on the team. Um, I want you on the taxi squad. I don't need you on the team right now, but I do want you in the in the rotation for sure. Stay in there. Oh, okay. I'm gonna speed up a little bit. The speed up in this game is really fast, so I'm trying to... Gotcha. I'm trying to lay off the speed up because it's almost too fast for me to even control my character. I tried it out in between episodes a little bit. Alright, Onyx, the Rock Snake Pokemon. We are going to name you Titanium. And... I just realized... I keep wanting to hit back when I want to go... Oh, I can hit select to go lower. Gotcha. Um... I just realized our frame for our, uh, our game that we picked out in episode one was actually pretty perfect because now we've got basically two steel types and we've got that metal that metal text frame. Uh, there we go. So titanium is on the team, but I think we are going to um, put her in the box for now. Let's check her out and see. Aw, titanium's got cute charm. Okay. Tackle Screech, cute charm. Uh, we'll not, uh, we'll not argue with that. But let's go to the PC. I'm gonna heal up real quick. And we're gonna put, uh, Titanium in the box. I don't want to, um, I don't want to have two water weaknesses on this team right now. And we're gonna go get the next encounter. Like, almost instantly. So, I don't think we're gonna have another Onyx or another, another rock type, I doubt it, so... Let's drop you in there. Uh, Titanium is not even gonna get added to the layout again, just because she's not even. She was never really on the team. She was just, she was just a catch for the taxi squad. So, let's grab an encounter here on Route 102. Right? Okay. A female Grumpig. Okay. Uh, not a bad psychic type. Grumpig's definitely getting added to the team. Definitely. Probably can headbutt it. Yes. And then it's gonna side beam me. But that I will eat that up all day. Eat it up all day, every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with a tackle just because I feel like if I if I hit it with a headbutt, it does too much. I'm gonna if it high rolls, it was gonna probably kill it. So. And I didn't know Grumpig learned Splash, so that's that's news to me. But let's grab our next two Pokeballs. God, I really hope I have enough here. I gotta buy some. I, I was gonna buy some before I came out here, but I forgot. Oh, no. We might be burning an encounter here, ba uh, folks. Um, Grow Pig, Metallica, everybody. <sighs> Why didn't I buy balls? Well... Burn that counter. Great. Just, just great. Just, that's absolutely great. You can't be wasting your encounters. You just can't. It's not... It's not an option. You know... Oh, I should probably get the potions too. I'll get some more potions. Yeah, I'll use the rest to buy Pokeballs. Um... can't be wasting your encounters. That's... It's really unacceptable. I'm gonna see what else was in this grass. But this Route 102 encounter... Could have been something great. Um... That would not have been great. Togepi would have been disappointing. Jesus. See how, see how fast that is? Actually, with the speed up, I, I can't control it, so... Alright, so we got another Grumpig. What else was here? A Hypno. So it looks like we were gonna end up with a Psychic type. One way or the other. Alright. So let's, uh... Let's go up here. 
We'll get our encounter for Route uh, 103. Yes. See, this is the water, and we can't get a water encounter right now, so. Okay! Relicanth. Another rock type, but this does not share a weakness with Metallica, except for fighting. So, I will take this. What I want to hit you with, though, is another, a whole other question. Maybe we just do this. Maybe we just take these, um, we might just have to hit this thing with some sand attacks, or mud slaps, I mean, and... Just start throwing balls and see what we get. We have to catch this thing. We have to. No, no. Are we gonna catch it at all? Dude. This thing's catch rate has to be insane. Oh, this is not good. Well, it's gonna keep hardening. Um. Do I dare try to get it into the red? Okay, now it's in the red. So now it's going to make it easier to catch. Just the fact that it's in the red at all. Um, so. Pokeball? Please. We need another mod. Thank you! I'm going to burn a bunch of balls, but at least I got it. The Longevity Pokemon Relicanth. Let's just name him Fossil. Even though he's not a fossil. I think Fossil's kind of a cool name. I don't, again, I don't know what else you would name him. So, we're just going to run with Fossil. And, um, so we've got Fossil and Metallica on the team. And that's what we got right now. Uh-huh. I'm going to go heal up, and we don't have many balls. We don't have many balls to catch any more Pokemon. We have four. But that's it. So we have to make use of what we have. We have to make use of what we have. Um, hidden item. Or not hidden item. TM13. What did that get randomized to? Okay, so we may lower the foe's accuracy by plummeting the thing into the air. But that won't work for us. We don't have anything that can use that right now. Um, I'd like to get Fossil some action. It's got Drought 2! We got the Drought Squad on hand! What in the world is going on? Drought on Drought on Drought, folks. God, I hope we don't get into a drought. Drought on drought. The drought squad is in hand. Oh, okay. Glad I didn't switch out into uh, fossil because we would have been annihilated. I do have to change my moves around though for Metallica. I want Headbutt in the first slot because if I'm going to be using it the most, it should be up at the top of the move spot, move set. Um, yeah, we should be uh, we should be all right, I think, early on in this game with these two defensive tanks. I, I don't see any reason why we won't be okay. Uh, we do need some more variety, that's for sure. We do need to get some other types that maybe aren't weak to fighting and water and rock or not rock, uh, grass and steel. But let's heal up real quick. And get into this next fight. Well, I don't need to heal. What was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna switch the moves. That's right. I was gonna switch the moves. Headbutt's gonna go here. Tackle's gonna go there. Mud slap harden. That's good. And then you just have tackle and harden. So, yeah, not the greatest move sets, but we have to make it work. We're gonna have to. Uh, gonna have to make it work as we head through this game. This game's going to present a whole new set of challenges that Platinum did not. And we're going to have to uh, get through it together. And as one group, as one posse, as the Pelocity Posse, uh, we're going to have to get through this together. So, 
Headbutt seems to be doing a, a, a decent amount. A lot of damage seems to be helping us. I'm getting tired of the sun's rays, though. It's taking up a lot of time in the battles. But I do think in the long haul, in the long haul, we are going to be okay. I, I I just wish we had some more variety right now. Not a problem. Get some experience and need a Reno. Um, we should be okay. Uh, with the lack of speed up used in this game, in this Let's Play, we're probably going to have a lot longer game than the Platinum was, so... Look forward to that, I guess. Extra episodes, extra fun, extra excitement, less cuts. Should be great. Should be great time. Question of the day for you, everybody, down in the comment section below. Let's see. What would be a good question of the day? Uh, what's your favorite ability in Pokemon? Whether it's, you know, the effect it has in battle or the Pokemon that has it, you know, like the best pair, the ability that goes with the best Pokemon, you know, it just makes sense. What's your favorite Pokemon ability? Uh, let me know in the comments section below. There's so many that you can pick from. I think I like uh, um, Rockhead. It doesn't allow recoil, so you can use moves like Takedown and such and, and just not have recoil and not worry about the damage output. And all you have to worry about is just dealing tons of damage to the op uh, to, to the opponent. It, I think Rockhead is probably one of my favorites. Um, I also love Drought and Drizzle because they add the uh, the weather effects to power up Pokemon moves. But um, in these games, it kind of goes away after five turns. So it's oh boy, this is really bad. What are you going to have? I have to harden. Because I know it's going to hit me with a physical attack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, do I have enough to... Wear this thing out. Alright, so that wasn't very effective. That's fine. I can harden now. So it's got revenge and it's got comet punch, right? It wants to use comet punch. Well, I'm gonna. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep hardening. How many hardens do they use? I used five. I'm gonna heal up one more time. That was revenge. I don't know if I beat this, folks. Just like Platinum. We start over. Okay. I will see you right back in a second. Alright guys, we are back. Again, the same randomizer. We're not going to re-randomize the game. We're going to re-randomize it. And this time, we're going to pick the same one. We're gonna pick the same Pokemon, and we will do this again. We will do this again. And it's a male this time. And that one headbutt took it out. We're not gonna do any of this text. We are going to. Well, now it's a now it's a male. Um. Now it's a male. So. Iron Hide it is, round two. Uh, okay, now, let's go talk to May. I just want to get up to May, and I can't even control myself in this game. Oh my gosh. You know, what's funny is if I would've, if I would've had that 
um, what should I call it? If I would have had that grump pig, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be in this in this situation. Okay, we're at May. Let's battle her again. She's just gonna have the same thing. No big deal. And now we're gonna head back to the lab again. We're almost back to where we were because we weren't very far. I can't believe that happened again. And it happened on trainer number two again. Or three, whatever it was the last time. That stupid Pidgeot took us out. Um, I got Pokeballs now, so this is our encounter. And now we get Scyther. Now we got Scyther. That, I can take. I, I will deal with that. This will actually help us against that stupid, well, hopefully we can catch him with just five balls, but this will help us against that Hitmonchan. The Hitmonchan will not take the Scyther out if we can get this thing trained up to the same level as our Iron Hype. Uh, one tackle did quite a lot. If it's a high roll and kills it, I'm gonna have to I have to take the risk. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Perfection. Now. And as I've said, beginning of Nuzlocks are always the hardest, right? Because you don't know what you're gonna encounter. You don't have as big of a, a pool of Pokemon to use. And if you get, you know, if you catch a bunch of Pokemon that don't help you against a certain type, you can get pretty, uh, get pretty, uh, get in some trouble pretty quickly. Is what I'm trying to say. So we really just need to, need to just hope we can catch this Scyther to give us that, that fighting resistance. Oh man, come on. Three in a row. No. Last ball right here. Last ball for the Scyther. Dude, come on! No. Never gonna beat this Hitmonchan if I can't catch anything. So stupid, dude. Ridiculous. 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 Alright, we are healed up. Let's go buy some more balls and not make this mistake again. And we're just gonna buy all the balls. Buy all the balls. I'll make enough money in these trainer battles after this to, uh, where I'll, I won't need any more potions. But right now, I just need balls. I need Pokeballs. So we're gonna go up to Route 103 first to get this encounter. Please don't be another Relicanth. It's another Relicanth. It's another level 2 Relicanth. Okay, please, for the love of all that is holy, just catch in one and not make me have to waste any more balls. I don't want this thing on the team. Look how many balls it's wasting. Run. I can't waste... I can't waste any more balls. I'm sorry. I have to get to Route 102 and try to catch that Grumpig. Or whatever. I have to catch something. If I can't catch anything in a Pokeball, what's the... Okay, Hypno. Well. Hopefully this will catch. Because if Hypno doesn't catch, then I'm really... I'm really in trouble. It don't put me to sleep, please. It don't crit it either. Okay. You're in the red. I'm gonna throw the premier ball. Please catch this Kipno. Hypno, I'm not happy with you right now. I need you within these next seven balls to pick one and stay in it. Three shakes. You disabled my head. Well, I wasn't going to use it anymore anyway. But I do need you to stay in these balls now. This is a very difficult situation for me. You're putting me in a very bad spot, Hypno. 
Thank you. Thank you. All right. What do you name this ugly thing? And it's a female. We're gonna name her Lullaby, I think. Because she puts them to sleep and I don't know. I'm just... I don't have anything else for a female Hypno. I've never thought about using Hypno, but there we go. We have a female Hypno on the team. Let's take a look at her and see what she's got rocking. Nature, relaxed, and immunity, which... Does she normally have immunity? I don't know what Hypno's normal ability is, but regardless, she cannot be poisoned. So, let's go heal up one more time. We now have a Pokemon to take that Hitman chain out. That's all I cared about. We should be okay for now. That Hitman chain will not be doing any issues, anything to us today. I am going to, before I head over to take those trainers on, though, I am going to grind a little bit. I'll take the two trainers on we took on already, um, and you don't need to see this, but, uh, and then after I'll grind, I'll meet you back at the Hitmonchan trainer in a second. All right, guys, we are back. Welcome back. Thank you for holding. For you, it was just a second, but for me, it was a little bit. We in, in, invested enough experience into Lullaby to get an iron, an iron Hide, actually, get the both the level 10, but Lullaby gained uh, one more level in battling, so... We are now ready to take on this trainer again with the Hitmonchan, and it this person will not best us again. Nope, this Hitmonchan is uh, Menet's Maker. You know, you show me what you have, you show me what you're working with, and then just like that, you just flick you off the screen and Hitmonchan goes away. So, thanks guys for holding up. Thanks for understanding that these games can kind of start a little bit, it can start with some wrenches, you know, it can start difficult sometimes. And when it does, we go with the flow, we, we, we take what was given to us, and we just continue the grind, you know, we just continue the grind. Okay. I will take a confusion seeking. Just do not... Okay. I was thinking horn drill was coming. Yeah, well, I will take that. Pound it, and get rid of it that way. Alright. So we are actually looking pretty good. We are looking pretty good. And I, I think let's uh, let's go help out this little you know, kid. I know we got some stuff to do here in Petalburg City. Um. Yeah, right up here. We have to go right in the gym? I think we have to go right in the gym first, and then he'll come in. So go talk to our dad. Hmm. Well, if it isn't Paul. I see. Uh, so you're finished all moving in. I'm surprised you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Oh, then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, hi. I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm. You're, uh, oh, right. You're Wally, right? I'm going to... I'm going to stay with my relatives in Verdanturf Town. I thought it would be, I'd be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along, but I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Paul, oh, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Oh, wow, a Pokemon. I'll give you a ball, too. Go for it. Oh, wow, thank you. Paul, would you really come with me? Yes. Teleport, basically. Paul, oh, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! Well, what are you gonna get, Wally? What are you gonna have randomized? A Ledian. Okay. I will, um, I will let you catch this, Wally. It's funny, because in this instance, it's not the catching tutorial. He's the one being tutored, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of interesting that that's the way they went with this. I, I wish, honestly... I wish it was this way every time. Don't treat us like we're the inexperienced ones. He's the inexperienced one, right? I did it. It's my my Pokemon. Thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So, did it work out? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Paul, well, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me. I have to go. Bye, Paul. Now, Paul, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rossboro City beyond this town. 
There should be a challenge. There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, Paul. But that's only after you become stronger. All right, Dad. We healed up. We're ready to go. Um, I guess we can just keep going this way. Oh, here's the Scott guy. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, let me guess. From the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Uh, well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or you're maybe just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. Excuse you, Mr. Sunglasses. Go back to the beach, you... Cad, you. No trainers, but there are trainers on the beach, I think. Yes, there's this kid here who will battle us. Come here, I want to battle you. All right. Got a couple more minutes left of this episode. But I think we're gonna leave Pedalberg Woods for the next part. Youngster Billy has a Trapinch. This should take it out, I think. This should be quite easy. All right. Next up we got Gengar. Okay, well Gengar we can stay in. Gengar we can stay in. This confusion will take this Gengar out easily. Look at that sprite. Look how big he gets. They shrink stack down. That's awesome. I love the, I love the movement sprites. You know. They started in Crystal, and then they went away for Ruby and Sapphire. But then the moving sprite animation, the animated like intro sprites came back in Emerald, and. It was always that third game that made me so excited for the moving sprites, you know? It was, it's really, I love how they, how they do that. So, Youngster Billy got sand in his runners, and, uh, man, he's gonna have to go shake them shoes out. He will gonna have to go shake his shoes out. No one likes sand in their shoes. Unless you're a sand shrew. In which case, you always have sand in your shoes. Ah! Golduck, um, confusion. I have a very itchy nose today, I don't know why. Like, the underside of my nose just constantly feels like I'm getting, like, I mean, I'm freshly shaved, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I feel like I just have, like, a feather right under my nose where it's, like, tickling me. It's just really annoying. Water sport. You're weakening my fire moves. Gosh darn it, Golduck. I don't have any fire moves. So you're just spraying me unnecessarily. With water, I don't need to be sprayed with. Nice, level 13. Lullaby's growing to level 13. That's great. That's fantastic. Okay. So, where should we go next? Probably take on this one last trainer. And we can leave off right before Petalburg Woods. How's that sound? I think that sounds like a plan. I think it sounds like a great plan. Right over this way, and take on this lady who, again, another completely unnecessary switch. They switched the, the rich boy from the route above and the lady, and, or whatever, they switched him. Lady Cindy used to be in the next route, and then the rich boy was in this route. I don't know why they switched him, but they did. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do enough damage, but I'm going to just use Confusion. Probably going to do more with Confusion than I would if I switched into Laron. Or if I switched into uh, Ironhide. I probably would do more damage this way. Yeah, I probably... Because it would have it double resisted. Yeah, this is probably the better bet, for sure. Uh, and then in the next episode, we're going to get the encounter in this route, and then we're going to get the encounter to start... In Petalburg Woods too, so we're gonna get two encounters to start the next episode, which is gonna be huge. It's gonna be really, really big. If we can start getting some team members on this uh, on this team, in the, it's right. They, they use their stupid full restores at level seven. I'm not sure why they had to invest in full restores for Pokemon that don't need it, but they could just have regular potions. And they'd have been fine. But they gotta show off their money, you know. They gotta show off their money and what they can do with it. Okay. So that'll do it. 
And that'll finish off this episode. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for supporting. And I will catch you next time right here on Paulosity, where we head into Petalburg Woods. We'll get two more encounters and continue this adventure. I'll see you then.